Hi, and welcome again to this video on how to create a category in Shop by Six. So let's have a look in our demo shop. As you remember, this is the demo shop. We also used to get a bit of an introduction on how the storefront and the administration looks like. In my case, I would like to now add a main category and a subcategory next to the home page. So as the first real category before summer trends. So let's have a look on how you do this. We go back to our administration and we find the categories module under catalogs. Categories, here you go. And as you can see here, in my case, I have actually a category structure or a tree of categories for two shops, my catalog for the demo shop and a brand shop, which I'll be using later on. If we click on this little arrow, the folder opens and you can now see demo shop, which actually contains our uh, menu from the storefront of demo shop. So summer trends with its um, subcategories, barbecue, uh, summer barbecue as the main category with its subcategories, as well as cooking pleasure in Provence, mountain and adventure and sale. And the other in the other folder, you find Futa demo, you find shop services, in this case, the fact of products, payment and dispatch, and more information like, for example, your general terms and conditions. This is because the categories module is actually not only used to create main and subcategories for your um, navigation in the storefront, but also to create um, pages like shop pages, which give more information on the um, topics which you can see here, for example. Categories, for example, could also be used to link um, a landing page to them and have a great content page created. But I will talk about this in more detail in the video about our CMS, the shopping experiences. Let's stick with creating a category now. So as I said, I wanted to add a test category here at the very first um, space, at the very first top. So you can simply click uh, on the um, uh, three buttons here and there you get the options new category before, new category after or new subcategory. So this is the one which actually gives the right level for my test category. And then you can simply give it a name, in my case, test category. And by clicking the check symbol, uh, it is um, created and automatically a new win window pops up or a new field pops up with which you can add uh, more categories on the same level. But I don't want to do that. And then you can, by dragging and dropping, place the category you just created at the right um, position, in my case, to the very top. And then here, same uh, options again are applicable. So in my case, I also wanted to add a subcategory. So you simply click subcategory and can add now the name for my desired subcategory. But let's have a look at further options when adding uh, or when configuring the new categories. Um, as you can see here, name is already taken over, but by default, a category, when you um, edit it here uh, in the left-hand uh, structure, is always deactivated. So it's not automatically live. You put it live by clicking on um, activate and saving the category. But let's do some further um, adjustments here. The second field is category type. This is exactly um, the button uh, that is there because categories can not only be categories, as I said um, earlier, but they can also be a structuring element or a customizable link. So a landing page, which might not be visible for every, um, for every customer. You can give tags. So in my case, let's take the tag summer campaign. And those tags can be given throughout the entire um, administration, not only for categories, but also for products or manufacturers, etc. And later on, you can do stuff with them. For example, you can group content together according to tags, or you can search certain tags so that when a tag is searched, um, those uh, those certain um, categories, products, manufacturers, etc., can pop up. But later more on this. Now you can assign a layout. So by default, 
if you click on assign layout, Shopware comes out of the box with some very cool category layouts. So there's a default category layout that you can allocate. So that will be um, a top banner, which can already give an inter introduction to the category and an introductory text description. And below that, the classical category listing. But in my case, because I have the flexibility here, I um, I thought about an individual category layout, which is a banner to the very top, which goes across the entire sc uh, screen, then uh, a full-sized text element below it with a description and the ca classical category listing with also um, a, a sidebar with the subcategories and filters for filtering further in your category. But I will uh, show you a bit how this looks like. So if you click now after allocating it onto Edit in Designer, you will get to our uh, CMS, the shopping experiences, which I briefly introduced in the introductory video about the administration. Yes, I want to save it first, of course. And now you can see that um, this is how uh, the structure of my uh, actual um, a layout for the category is. So here I could give it some some preview, for example, from fas for sa fashion sale or for, um, for example, uh, drink. And you see that you always have the top um, a banner, the text, the navigation and the listing. And what is very smart about those layouts is that they use a data mapping to individually stream the content that is uh, applicable for each category. So if I briefly click on um, this little wheel symbol here, you see that this field is actually mapped with the field category media. And this is what you can obviously maintain in the category uh, module already. And then the layout directly knows, okay, media, category media was uploaded here. And this is uh, what I'll take to display in the front end as the top banner. Same holds true with this for this little um, text field here. So if I click again on the wheel, you see that this um, text element is mapped for the field category description. So that again, in my case, it won't say drinks, the smell of lemons and so on and so forth, but the text I enter for my category. Okay, so much in terms of individual layouts and how layouts with category works. So let's uh, jump back to our category module and continue editing our test category. Next up is the menu settings. So you could hide the category in the navigation, uh, but I want it to be displayed. And here is the field I just saw in my layout. So here's the image I can then upload now. Either I uploaded a file from uh, my computer or I open media uh, that I have already uploaded. So I believe there is a beautiful banner in here, summer banner category, which you can then simply by dragging and dropping place here. So it is automatically allocated. Then I have the description here. So here's a small editor and you have all of the editing options, which you know from, no from normal word editing pro programs. So you can give it a description. Um, so uh, maybe uh, summer feeling is a good capture here. And then this is my exemplary category with lots of beautiful products and content in it. And then you can um, do some editing. So of course you can give it your text structure. So it will be SEO optimized. So in my case, this should be um, a heading one and this potentially could be heading four, for example, but I don't want to have it bold. And you can do a bit of orientation here as well. What's also very interesting is that you can adjust the color of the text with this color picker or you use the hex code. So if you don't know the hex code and you just want to pick a beautiful color, you can use here the color picker and pick a color which uh, suits your taste. In my uh, case, this green here. And further options are obviously possible. So you could also paste um, uh, a link here, uh, add a table, but you could also embed um, code in here. 
And now you get to the product assignment. Here you can simply search for the products which have already been added in my case and allocate them. So I know there are bikinis in there. So let's add, according to my summer feeling description, some products which are relevant for uh, summer. So there should be a shorts in there. Yes. I know there is a beach bag as well. Yes, there is. And for example, there's also an example dress. And then you see the overview of the products you have allocated. Next up is the SEO section. Here you can give a meta title for your category, meta description, and also important SEO keywords to improve your ranking with the search engine. Related to search engine as well is canonical URLs, which you can give here in this section. And last but not least, you have a custom fields down here, which was added um, for uh, a Google shopping a product export. So here you could give the Google product category, which would be um, the counterpart of your category, in my case, test category. But if this was women's fashion, for example, you could add the Google product category that would be matching here. And then you can save everything. What's also interesting, uh, by the way, which you find um, across the entire administration, whenever you add content like categories, products, or other text fields, etc., in the um, CMS, in the uh, shopping experiences, you can translate it according to the languages which you will um, display in the front end. So in my case, um, there is English, but for example, I would also like to have the front end to, to be translated in German to give it a German or a German uh, language switch. So thus I can simply click on Deutsch or German and uh, by default um, you see the gray um, uh, text or the gray uh, name of the category from the English um, uh, category which will always be taken as a default as English is my default language here. So if I don't um, uh, enter the German translation here the English one will be taken as a default but obviously I can speak German so I can add test category here as a translation. And after saving, you also get the second tab content, which actually makes it a little uh, easier or quicker to just um, adjust content. Like for example, the image that we uploaded or also here do some adjustments in the text, um, for example. Great. So now let's have a look at our storefront and see what we've done. I go back to the storefront, I reload the page, and yes, as you can see, I have the test category available and also the um, respective page here is visible with my uh, top banner for my individual category layout, with my little description below it, and my menu to the left-hand side, as well as the products I allocated to my test category. So this is how easy you can um, add categories uh, in Shopware 6. Thanks for watching.